Good morning, everyone. I hope you guys had a great weekend. I thought we'd start our week off today with some Hamsa hands. And I'm going to use the new Creation is Messy Starry Night to make this little talisman. So let's start our week off with some health and some happiness and some good fortune. Here we go. Our colors for today are this new Creation is Messy Starry Night, which is one of their new colors for 2020. Now this glass, if I can get it to focus, is actually an opaque glass in a very um, kind of a lightish green with dark blue stringers in it. And when I first looked at it, I was like, oh my God, those stringers are inside the opaque glass. How are they going to show up? But they do. And it looks great. So, starry night for our base bead. And then I just have my glass of encased stringers here. Um, I'm just going to pick and choose as we go to make all of the decorations. I got black and white for the evil eye. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Let's go. I have got started here and I've got my starry night. I'm just going ahead and making kind of an oval bead. I'm putting down that third layer. I'm going to use my oval press for the base shape of the hand. And when you get this glass, it's kind of got like a light greenish color on the rod. But then when you lay it down, um, that light green kind of turns into a really light bluish gray with the dark blue stringers running through it, which is really pretty. And the good thing about this glass is number one, it's very creamy, not shocky at all. But you can actually see the little um, blue stringers running through it. And so you can decide if you want those streamers to be straight or if you want to squiggle them. Uh, so I think that's neat. You can kind of control the marble design you get based on how you lay down the glass. Okay, that's my ugly little oval bead and I'm gonna go ahead and shape it using that method that I showed you guys for the lentil press. Just heating up the glass and let's go ahead and just give it a little twisty here. So I have a nice, even concentric shape. And now I'm gonna heat it up and I'm gonna press it. And on this particular bead, I found that if you have too much glass, it's a ham, hamsa glo baseball glove. <laughs> but if you have a little less glass, then you get a hamsa hand. So let's see what we get today. I probably don't have near enough glass. Oh, okay, I got a good press. Ah, that's a good shape, yay. All right, did I break the bead release? Yes. Just kind of flick it off there on the end. All right, so that's a nice little shape. Let me go ahead and do some work here. I'm gonna get all of the tool marks out and you can really see those streamer stripes. They look very cool. Very, very cool. I like this glass. It's melting well. Okay, the first thing I do on my Hamsa hand is I shape the little fingers. So I'm just going to put a little angle right there. Not too sharp. Just, you know, when you hold your fingers up, your hand is shaped in kind of an angle. All right. Let's go ahead and melt down the little areas there between the fingers. And now I'm going to sculpt the fingers. So I have my dental tool and I'm just going to put one line right there next to the mandrel. And I'm going to go ahead and put another line right there next to the mandrel. And if things kind of get pushed out a bit on the top, go ahead and sculpt it down. Just like so. Good. Now, where did I do with my glass? Now we're going to put in the two little wing thumb things. 
I don't know what they're called. I'm not a very spiritual person, but I saw this bead while I was like surfing around and I was like, oh, that would look cool. I like it. All right, a nice little gather, push it down and pull it up so you get a kind of a little, little thumb blop right there on the top. And you can add more glass if you want. And we're gonna go ahead and do that to the other side. I'm gonna get a gather of this glass, push it down and pull, and you might have to wait a little bit so that glass hardens and you get a nice good dollop right there on the ends. And then I'm just gonna kind of flatten it down in the center because now we're going to start our eye. And the first thing I put down on the eye is like the rays behind the eye. So I have this little bit of ribbon cane. Let's see how long it takes before I snap it in half. Oh, two seconds. Two seconds to snap that cane in half. <laughs> oh, yay, Monday morning. I'm just going around kind of the perimeter here and making some little rays that stick out. Trying to keep in mind, I'm gonna put an eye in the center. And as it turns out, I thought the eye was like an evil eye and it meant evil, but what it really means is that it's protecting you from evil. So, we all need protections from evil. So the Hamsa hand brings you fortune and health and wealth and the evil eye protects you from evil. Yay! Everything you could want in a talisman. All right, I'm just going around here now and kind of pressing down those little petal edges. So nothing goes pew. And now I have a white stringer. We're gonna go ahead and make the eye. And I'm gonna get a nice good dollop, gollop dollop of white right there in the center. Just right in the center like that. I'm gonna press it down first and then I'm gonna go in with my dental tool and just kind of give it that almond eye shape. So think of a little triangle. Press it down a bit, flatten it out, give it that oval eye, eyeball shape. Just like so. And now, let me see, I didn't grab any, I think I have light blue. I'm looking for a transparent, oh, here's green, cool. Okay, I have this little transparent stringer that we're gonna make the pupil here, the colored part. A green eye kind of goes with that greenish blue color of the starry night. From Creation is Messy. New colors for 2021. Okay, that looks good. Can I get a little more smash out of it? Just a little more? Okay, yay. Now let's put the pupil in. A little black pupil right in the center. I need more coffee because I'm shaking. I know some people like coffee makes them shake and other people coffee doesn't make them shake. Very strange. Coffee is a strange elixir. Okay, now what I want to do around the outside of that eye is I'm going to put a little blue, I don't know, eyeliner I guess. <laughs> and I have my stringer here. I'm just going to get the tippy tip hot touch it down, and then just kind of badly draw around the outside of that eye. Oh, that was horrible. You guys, do better than me, okay? Do better, please. I probably should have turned down my torch because they stuck their eyeliner right in the center of their eye. <laughs> this poor guy, oh, I hope that doesn't mean bad luck. Maybe I'll do another. I'm gonna turn this down, I'm gonna do another layer. One, cause this was a really skinny stringer that I laid down really bad. 
There we go. Okay, much better. I think I covered up my mistakes. <laughs> if you can't fix it, feature it. I learned that in some marketing class years and years ago. If you can't fix it, feature it. No, I meant for it to be like that. Okay, let's start decorating. And the way I decorate, I just have this little green um, in case cane. And I'm just going to put some little flowers down the center. You guys can decorate this however you like. I use these dots and these leaves. So usually down the center I like to do the leaves because that's the most surface area and that's where I can get the most decorations. There we go. Press down that little edge. And then in the top I'm going to put, let's see, here's a light blue. I have no idea what these encased stringers are of. I just make a whole bunch of them and stick them in a cup and then they're there and I grab them when I want them. Okay, two little dots there on the edge. And then I'm gonna get a darker, maybe purple. Ooh, purple. Purple dots right on top. Let's just stack them up. Two little purple dots on top of the two little blue dots. Press them down. And then I have this really dark blue. No clue what this is. A little dot there. A little dot there. And that, you guys, I would call my Hamsa hand. So it is going in the kiln. Creation is messy, starry night. This is a great little bead. It's very cute. Have a good day, everyone. I'll be back soon. Bye. Okay, guys, here is my super boring copyright notice. Um, basically, the video is copyright protected. So if you would like to show this to someone, just send me an email. If Maria, I want to show your video in my glass group or maybe at show and tell at school, just send me an email. I'm pretty generous with my copyright. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, the bead in this video is also copyright protected. However, I hereby give you permission to make this bead for yourself. And I give you permission to make this bead as a gift for your friends and family. And I also give you permission and blessings and thanks if you want to make beads for a charity. The only thing I ask is that you don't sell any of my beads because I'm selling my beads. Now, that being said, if you want to sell your beads, like say five beads at my church bazaar, send me an email and we can work something out. If you want to sell a dozen beads at your local craft show, Send me an email. We'll work something out. If you want to sell 80 million beads on Amazon, oh my God, send me an email and we can talk about royalties and the millions of dollars we're going to make selling beads. Anyways, guys, get a hold of me. I'm really generous with my copyright. I'm not here to make any money. Um, so yeah, talk to me. Don't be scared. It'll be all right. Take care, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you soon. Bye.